All right, welcome back. So, assuming everybody is now in WSL2 and Ubuntu 22.04, next we want to go and install MongoDB, MongoDB server to be uh, exact, which we'll be using as our database server later on. So, right now, um, in my WSL console, not the Windows command prompt, but WSL console, and First, I want to switch over into my home directory. Um, I should be in my home directory, technically, but that was just a sanity check. Uh, and let's go and install the MongoDB server. Now, all of this is in the written directions. This is more so kind of like a um, step-by-step um, video walkthrough just in case written directions seem very overwhelming and they may be they probably something like this can be very overwhelming for a beginner it does get easier don't worry so uh the first thing i want to do is install gnupg this is again a tool that we'll need so uh super user command and install gnupg now, in your case, most likely, you will be asked for your password. This is the password which you have created during the this specific Ubuntu distro version installation. This is not your Windows password. Now, if both of those are the same, if you enter the same password as your Windows password, that's fine. But this is the password which you have created during your WSL installation and this specific version of Ubuntu installation. Uh, in this case, mine is already the newest version, but yours will install, essentially will have a very similar output. Uh, next is uh, what I want to do. Next, I want to install uh, import GPG keys, and this is for security purposes, meaning uh, this is provided by, uh, by MongoDB. This looks like a crazy string. So I'm going to copy it. And again, this is going to be in the written instructions as well. And I will paste it in and I will press enter. And nothing happens. In this case, nothing happens. Something happened, essentially. It, it, it saved this key somewhere, uh, but uh, the fact it didn't give it any, any error, this means this is, this is good. Then I want to create a list, something called a list file. And again, this is another crazy string. So I'm going to uh, copy and paste it all in the written instructions as well. Just remember that. All right. Copy and paste in this case. And enter. All right. Good. Uh, then I will reload the packages so again sudo apt get update this will take a second ah, maybe a few seconds shouldn't be too long and done. all right I'll clear these up just for uh, just for any purposes now I am going to grab the mongodb server installation from the MongoDB servers. Now, this all of these steps before were needed so that this command works. So I'll go sudo apt get install dash y mongodb org. And this is current as of summer fall 2024. Um, this is going to be current probably until the end of 24, unless there's going to be another big update with MongoDB, but we'll handle that when that comes around. So again, this is a pretty large um, installation. I uh, note here it says after this operation, 540 megabytes of additional disk space will be used. You might get a prompt uh, that says yes or no, so you might just need to press Y to confirm it. Uh, again, this will depend on your local user settings. So anyway, so on and so forth, we have the installation set up. A couple more things that we need to do. 
as create a DB folder. It might have been created already. It might have not. So just for sanity's purposes, we will do the following. Make there uh, slash b data slash db, and again, all in your um, all in your directions. Oh, sudo make there slash b data db. So super user. Um, before I got an error, can I create directory? Permission denied because I was not punching in the sudo command, the super user command. And the last thing is I need to apply some permissions into this folder. Again, it might already have been done automatically with installation, but... Oops, uh, what, what do I need to do? Uh, dash R. Uh, ID and then it's going to point to data DB again all in the directions I think I got it right I suppose okay now if everything worked correctly when I type this in I should get the following output looks like crazy chicken scratch uh, however, this means that in my case, MongoDB is running. At least the server is running. And uh, in the next video, we will uh, just review on how to install MongoDB Compass. And MongoDB Compass is our uh, graphical uh, interface layer, the GUI, so that we can uh, work with the database that we launched here through MongoDB Compass. Uh, because you, you can definitely work through it through the terminal. But MongoDB Compass is a lot better for learning. I guess, arguably, a lot better. But you can see what you're doing. Uh, but this has to be um, uh, running when uh, when MongoDB Compass is launched. So we'll take a look at that later.